guys, Maya Kai here, um, just with a quick series of videos on how I made Belle Cornell from Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon. So I started by patterning everything out um, on butcher paper, and then I transferred everything on to EVA foam. I don't know the thickness, but it's the rolls of EVA foam from Harbor Freight, so they're not as thick as the floor mats, but they're definitely not as thin as craft foam. You'll see me here checking my references as I'm cutting um, the pieces out, and then I dremel all of the edges. I dremel the top sides and underneath to make sure that it is nice and smooth. It's definitely really important that you take your time with dremeling and smoothing out the edges because it's really going to change uh, how clean your armor looks, especially with armor like this where there are no trim pieces to hide horrible edges, which was a challenge for me. I tend to dremel a little bit harder on the backside so it sits nicer against my skin. And then I will do this for every single piece. So you'll see here I am patterning and labeling each of my pieces with what the piece is and whether it belongs on the right side or the left side. You'll notice that on some of the pieces I drew up the details as well just so I could get a sense of what it would look like on the finished piece. And then I could use it later as reference for the details on the actual physical armor. Make sure that when you are cutting out your armor that you are using a sharp utility knife, box cutter, whatever you want to call it. I get mine at Harbor Freight. They're 49 cents a piece and I always just grab a handful or two every time that I go in. Because um, I haven't been able to find a sharpener so I just kind of use the disposable ones and they work really well for me. Especially because they're so small they work well on curves and more complex pieces. I use the same thickness of EVA foam for every piece and I label those knees and those are definitely elbows. So at this point I'm just kind of working through the foam, rounding things out. I couldn't figure out which way was up with my shoulder piece. Um, making sure to check my references the entire time. So the most complex piece of this armor is probably his chest piece. So this is attempt number one at the chest piece. I didn't end up keeping this one because it didn't quite work out how I thought it was going to. Um, but my second attempt was a lot more... I don't know the word. You know what I'm talking about. I decided here that I wanted to bevel the edges of the front of the chest piece so it would sit a little bit more flush with the edges. Um, make sure that you have a brand new or super, super sharp uh, box cutter for this to get the clean edges. That was one of my problems with the first attempt at the trim is I tried to bevel it with a dull blade and it just tore the foam completely up. Next for today, I finished up his shirt. So this is just me sewing the sleeves onto the shirt. Um, he has like a strange popped collar thing. So my shirt has more of a high neck on it, less of a popped collar because I'm doing a feminine version of Belle. Um, and so this is just me finishing the construction on the floor. 
I've never actually sewn on the floor and I'm using my friend's sewing machine and using like the back of my leg to use the pedal and it was super awkward but you know you gotta do what you gotta do to get done what you gotta get done and it worked um so I I sewed through it I tried it on I had a couple holes because I'm really bad at sewing and fixed those up and it was ready to go and you'll see here me trying it on so stay tuned subscribe for more updates on Belle